Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back with another thrift haul. I went to the auction and was able to buy a whole bunch of stuff. I spent $177, which is the most I've spent in a very long time at an auction. I was able to buy so many things, including lots of figurines, which I have a real problem with, I think. I just can't seem to pass them up. But I was, I was able to buy some figurines and a couple other surprises that I didn't think I was going to be able to find. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. But this is probably gonna be two, maybe three videos worth of things here because there's just so much to get through. So let me show you what I got. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember exactly how much I spent on every item, but I have a rough idea uh, because some things were just bundled in and it gets sort of confusing after a while. After you've been there for four or five hours, just everything's a blur. You kind of forget what you've even bought. So I was able to find these really neat clown imperial chalk boxes. This is the back of them. So there's four identical boxes of these. I spent, I believe a dollar, maybe two, I don't remember, for the flat of this. And I think something else was included. This might have been included. Uh, no, actually that's wrong. This was really all I was after. I think the rest of the stuff was kind of junk. So really neat. I'll keep probably one of these for my collection. I do collect like circus clown kind of items, the older things, not, not stuff from, you know, seventies, eighties and onward, but, uh, you know, anywhere between the sixties and earlier, I like that kind of stuff for the most part. So really neat. I love this box. Thought it was really fun. So I'll keep one of them, probably sell the others. We'll see what they go for online. I don't know, but they are really cool. And I had to grab them and I was glad that I was able to get them. This is pretty interesting. And I didn't know what it was until I got home and started fiddling with it, but it is some color Marvel art. They are, they have corked on the top there. I'll try to slide them out. <laughs> Completely unusable now, um, but they're some sort of a paint. So isn't that fun? But I don't think, I don't know if this has any really resale value other than the box is cool. But um, we'll, we'll check it out online, see what they do. But thought that was a really interesting find right there. Over here, we have some chalkware. I didn't know if they were chalkware at first or plaster of Paris stuff because the back was painted. So you can't really do a scratch test to, de to decide if this is chalk, but I do believe it's chalk. So we have this pair here looks like someone either bought them or had them in an antique mall the pair for 1325 and there are two of them i think i'm actually going to put these in my booth so that whenever i do get a third booth i think this would be really nice for that even though i don't think they're really from the 50s i want to reiterate that the 50s themed booth isn't only 50s items it's just that the um, aesthetic of it is designed into the 50s, but everything else is sort of like retro themed. So something like this, actually these are older too, but um, you get the idea. Anything kind of kishy and retro and fun and vibrant would go great in that particular booth. So I was able to get these two large chalkware pieces. I will probably put these in the booth once I get them. They're just kind of heavy and bulky, too much to deal with on shipping. This is also another fun piece. I believe it's chalk. Yes, it is. And it was five. Well, no, what am I talking about? This, <laughs> this was all, I forgot to mention, this was all a dollar, maybe two in a, in a bundle. So yeah, looks like someone was trying to sell it for $5, but this is also chalk. And then lastly, we have sort of a vase with an abundance of fruit coming out the top of it. Someone was trying to sell that for $8. Very cool. We will try to see what these do in the booth. I haven't really tried chalkware, plaster of Paris stuff in the booth, but we will find out soon enough. Right up front here, I thought this was interesting. I remember I did pay about a dollar for this. It's beautiful though. Let's see what, it actually says, I think Fairyland or something. A Fairyland import, handcrafted Japan. And it is in great shape. It's sort of a, oh, I guess those are horns. It's kind of like an Eperng, but, and there is a angel cherub puti. I learned that word from one of you. <laughs> um, so we will see what this does. I just thought it was kind of cool, old vintage. And it even comes with a feather. So pretty cool. 
Uh, these are two crystal candle holders. I was happy to get them. They were still in the box. Well, in a box wrapped with tissue paper. So I don't think many people seen them. I think I paid, it was under $4 for the pair, but they are 24% lead crystal. What does it say? Made in Germany of all things. So how fun is that? It looks like a frosted and clear pattern on those. I have not really sold crystal before. I'll be honest. I Part of the thing is clear glass isn't all that desirable right now. So I had been dismissing all clear glass and just not really paying attention to it for that same reason. So I need to really look in and start dealing with crystal. And I didn't for sure know how to best differentiate between regular glass and crystal. I do know that it has some sort of a rainbow iridescence, but I just really couldn't trust myself. I, I love that there's a label on here. I'll just say that. <laughs> All right, so we got those. These are fun though, really cool glasses. There was another reseller there. She's actually the lady that lives down the street. She has two yard sales a year. She sells things. She buys a lot of things and she sells a lot of things at this huge yard sale that she has twice a year. These are amazing. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard to part with those. Really nice, love the pink, gold, and white combination on that and the flowers. Nice thick bottom on that, you can see. Very, very cool. I love that there's six of them. I think I paid about $4 for these. She was bidding up against me, I will say. Um, but I, th I guess she let me have them. I sh we were bidding against each other previously on another set of glasses. I wish I would have got those. Those were more circus related. Um, they kind of looked like carousel glasses. They weren't uh, like a Tom Collins glass like I've sold in the past, but they were more wider, flared like this. Um, but she got those that went, the bid went up to like $10 and I was like, no, nope, not going to have that. So let her have it. And then I was able to get this and this, I will say, so this set and this set for $4 and these are monogrammed Z. These will go great online for anyone that has a last name starting with a Z, which I'm sure is, well, it's enough people that there's probably a lot of people looking for them because it's not a common last name. So this is a great gift. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> if you've watched my last video, I believe it's the very last video, I went and picked out of this person's house that's also a reseller, and she had the same exact, it's not a Jaguar, it is a Jaguar. I keep calling it a Panther, but it's a, it's a Jaguar, black Jaguar with, look at that, look at these eyes. Oh, little diamond eyes, rhinestone. It is a vintage television lamp from the 50s time frame. And I will show you the back here. A little bulb sets inside of here. You plug her in, put this on top of your big wooden console television. <laughs> and uh, there you go. You're ready for the night. But we do have a current TV lamp over by our TV. It's not anything like this in the form of a figure or anything. It's basically a glass block with a light underneath it that shines up. And I mentioned that in the previous haul video. But this one, very awesome. The best part of this is the story and how much it cost me to buy it. So this was among a couple other things. I can't remember exactly what was bundled with it. I think some greenery actually, just like some Christmas garland, random. And the person that was bidding against me, I think the bid was like $4. First of all, I heard $4 as the starting bid and no one was really shooting up their hand. And I was wondering what was going on. So I, you know, I was like, fine, okay, $4. And then she, she looked a little concerned, actually. She was like, hmm, should I buy it for $4? I could read her face. And she was like, okay. And then she put her hand up. And then he looked back at me and I'm like, uh, yeah. And I go, I think we were up to like eight. And then she was like, oh gosh, I don't know. And the auctioneer was actually saying, I think I would, you know, telling her, trying to get her to bid again. And she was just wrestling in her mind. I don't know what the deal was. I'm like $10. So I was raising it, trying to get this to move along because it was actually taking a little bit too long for me. And sh then she was like thinking a little bit longer. And he was like, I think you should, the auctioneer. I'm like, you know, you need to be quiet. But she's like, okay. And I'm like 15. I just jumped it up another $5. And she's like, okay, you have it. You have it. I'm like, yes, I will. Because these sell online for about $80 to, $100, $80 to $100, but I will keep it. So I paid, what did I pay? $15 for this. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it is in perfect shape. Hopefully I didn't bore you with my story, but I just had to go on about this and how fantastic this was of a deal. Very cool. This is awesome. Paid a dollar for it. 
basically there was a whole bunch of crap, a whole bunch of like three different flats. This was the only thing in the flat that I wanted. And at this point of the auction, they were like, look, you know, you can leave whatever you want. Just buy, take what you want, leave what you don't want. And it was junk what I left. So don't worry about that. But this was the only thing of value that I thought was pretty cool. I paid a dollar and it is Florida. It has seashells, really retro, very fun. We'll see what that does online. It's sort of an impulsive thing for me because I just think it's so cute, but we will find out. For a dollar, it's a no brainer. So this was towards the same time of the auction that I found these lamps. So I wasn't probably gonna buy these, but guess how much they sold for? Just guess. I'm gonna give you some time. So there, let me show you what I got though. Clear glass, little guys there. These are plastic with sort of a hobnail, hobnail-esque clear beading. There's a pair of them, identical. Here's a pair of these, milk glass, hobnail, identical, and a pair of these, painted. Okay, how much? They were a dollar for all of them. I don't know. I don't have a clue what people were doing. I don't know. But I will probably end up keeping these two right here. I think they will go great in our bedroom. Um, I just, I don't know. The, the uh, I will say these ones here being the oldest, I believe, are in the toughest shape with the cords. They are actually cracking, as you can see right there. That will need to be addressed. That's not going to happen. In our bedroom, don't wanna die. So really cool, love these. I don't know the time frame these are from. I would guess around the 40s, considering the, the lines, the mid or the Art Deco look to them, um, but probably as late as 1951, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess mid to late 40s. Could be earlier, I'm terrible with my uh, depression stuff. Scott, Scott with the old curiosity shop, he would know. I would guess he likes to sell lamps and deal with that. They could be older. They really could. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But anyways, I will sell, I will sell these two and these two primarily, probably in the booth over here. We've got a couple things. I don't know why I bought this. It was a dollar. I got, I was getting frivolous with my money. I was just throwing it out the window at that point. Um, cause, because just prices were going great. They, some of these things were some, some were not, as you'll see in a, a video that follows this one, um, part two and three, if there is a three, <laughs> you will see that things were not always so cheap, but I did find some things. But anyways, I paid a dollar, nice big photo album. Who doesn't need one of those? Actually, I don't think anybody does. Who prints photos out anymore? Oh, okay, well, it was the thought that counts, right? So all of these, and this one's like a bigger one that you could put, I don't know, really long photos in. <laughs> so thought that was awesome. And I had to grab that for a dollar for the set of those. This here, there are two of them. I think there's some sort of religious th religious thing. I don't know. This is what's uh, given that idea to me. It's not leather. It, it's made to look like leather. But this, I just wanted to show you this because this old advertisement was folded up in the pocket. And it has these summer dresses you can buy for $4.99. And I believe it's dated 1964. I know my phone keeps vibrating. People keep texting me. And 1964. Really cool. Those are fun, vibrant dresses in the back of it. We got some uh, champagne glasses, I guess, with some whipped cream. If anybody happens to know what this is, if it even is, has a seller market, I don't know, but I actually have another one of them. This one's slightly different. Looks kind of on the Jewish side. I don't know. I don't know. But there they are. And the last thing in that bundle for a dollar, yeah, I paid a dollar for those things again, was this binder from, I think it's 1964. New for 64, presidential election map, only 29 cents. This has never been used. It's a whole set uh, as you would buy it in the store, has all the original stuff in it to show you, I guess, how you can use it. So look at that, never open paper filler paper. This is the kind of stuff I get and I don't know what to do with because it's amazing that it has lasted this long being un well, being unused, throw, you know, people didn't throw it away. So, yep. There they are. Okay, this here, 
I paid two, was it $2, maybe three, I think it was $2. Really pretty pink and white afghan. I will try to get that listed sooner rather than later since we are in the weather for this. And great, it's still wrapped in plastic. I don't know, I don't think this is, oh, patient belong, okay. Hmm, that's not a good thought. So there it is, really pretty. And actually I don't see any stains or anything like that just on first inspection, but $2 had to grab that lovely coloring. Down here we have an owl. Okay, so all of these things here were a dollar. I'll say that right off. And we have an owl crocheted little holder guy. Then we have a mushroom pot holder. This will go on the booth. These, these both will probably go in the booth. This I already listed on eBay for like $12 with free shipping. It's in great shape, Minnie Mouse pot holder. So if I can sell that for $12, I've already made, I don't know, 10 times my money over that. Then we have a 1970s or so pot holder. Great item for the booth as well. Then these are two silicone, still with tags. I don't know what they do online, but they are just progressive brand. Don't think they're that exciting, but we will find out. And then we have some fun crocheted pot holders here. Oh, my hand has a cramp. I just switched hands. Okay, so we've got this one, this one, this one. Lots of fun red and white ones. I love that. I'll just go kind of quick. A little bit, a little bit of the same thing going on here. And these are cute little teapots. I think that's a tea kettle or a sugar and a creamer. I don't know. How neat. And then this one's a big gold with glitter. There's glitter in there with um, glitter thread. Big doily. And then one of these. Find these all the time. Don't know if anybody actually buys those. And then over here, this was all included. Still the same dollar. Same dollar. We've got some uh, grippy guys. Hang on. I'll hang on to those. That I'll find a use. Also in white. And then we have this one here. Isn't that cool? Has an owl. It's a towel holder. Crocheted. Very fun. This will probably go online and it'll sell for $100,000. Well, okay, so that is everything there, and hopefully you got a good fill because, well, that's all for now. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.